Hi everyone, this is JG Cards here, and I am going to be making a quick Star Wars Celebration Chicago video. This is going to be about everything that has to do with the panels, the lottery, reservations, queuing. I thought that this video would be really helpful for a lot of people because I know that there was so much information that came out yesterday about all of this. There was a lot of text, and for some people, that is a lot to read, and sometimes it's just simpler to watch a video or to listen to something audibly just be able to understand and grasp it and i thought it'd be quick just to break it down simply uh as you know that you can see me a lot of, on twitter at jg underscore cars tweeting about star wars celebration tweeting about star wars i host a podcast called the blue saber that comes out every saturday morning and i'm also a moderator of the star wars celebration unofficial discord server where we are constantly updating all the information and getting it to you guys as quick as possible we would love to have you in there uh, we love to be able to talk about celebration talk about everything that has to do with star wars so with that being said let's break this down i know that for some people they are bummed i know that this was a little bit of a disappointment that there was some frustration as it just did not make sense and while I understand and people do have that right to be upset and frustrated because I do get that that overnight queuing was something to look forward to, was a memory and a lot of great moments. I do think that this system is overall a great system that is fair for everyone and while it is a little bit disappointing for some, I think for the mass majority this is a good step into the future and so I think that it's best for us just to give this a shot. And that they answered the the, conf the uh, complaints and confusion that happened with Orlando, and this was their response. And so I give them a lot of credit for at least trying something new. And this that the fact that this is my first con ever, I'm very excited for this, and it takes a lot of stress off of me personally, actually. And so I think what is very important to know before we break down how this whole system works is what stages there are. And so it goes the celebration stage the galaxy stage the twin sun stage the fan panel stage the podcast stage the collector stage and the star wars university stage and so the important thing to know first is that for the podcast stage the collector stage the star wars university stage and the fan panel stage those are all walk-in. You do not need to win a lottery. You do not need to reserve, do anything to get into these. Now, it is important to know, though, that even though that these are technically walk-in panels, that some of these are going to be in very high demand and that it could result in some waiting or some queuing beforehand. For example, we heard a lot of stories about uh, the Collider panel being a very long line to get in and was filled to, like, standing room only. So... Keep that in mind as some of these bigger podcasts and some of these bigger name uh, personalities in the Star Wars fandom, they are going to have a high demand. So keep that in mind if you want to get into those and how that might conflict in schedules. If there is a panel an hour before that that you want to get into, you need to consider what you want to get into and what you don't. Um, and we don't know exactly the capacity room size, so maybe if it's, if it's more, then that we would have fit more people. We don't know all that detail just yet that hasn't been made public. But that is important to know that while that these are walk-in, you do need to take in consideration that for some of these big names, there might be some waiting involved. Of course, nothing too, too crazy, but there will be a little bit of a sacrifice there. And then the next thing to uh, talk about is the galaxy stage and the twin sun stage now the twin sun stage was formerly known as behind the scenes stage so that's why you don't see that there they just basically gave that an official name which is cool and uh, it doesn't really make a difference to one way or another the art for it is cool though now for these panels in these rooms they are allowing people to reserve one uh one uh panel a day for each of those stages so you get for each day so that's for friday saturday sunday and monday you get one free reservation for one panel at the galaxy stage and one panel at the twin sun stage and it's important to note though that they that this does not include the uh streaming of the big main panels at the celebration stage that these are for uh think of like the rebels remember panel and like the resistance panel on Monday, things like that. 
Now these also, if you're not able to uh, reserve, there will be a, a queue as well and any remaining spots you can actually get in that aren't claimed. So there are several ways for you to get in. And then of course the big main topic is the lottery system for the celebration stage panels. For the celebration stage panels, the big thing to know is that for each of the main panels, so the headline panels as I like to call them for each day, that's going to be your episode 9 panel, your Galaxy Edge panel, your Mandalorian panel, and then the anniversary of the Phantom Menace. Each of these, if you are going to be able to get in it, is going to be either two ways. One, you are going to have to win the lottery to get in, which means you basically submit that you, once this goes live through the website or through the app, you will be able to then click and say that I want in. You will then, if you win, be notified and you can say that, yes, I want to go. And then if you don't, then they will then open up all those that won the lottery who did not confirm their spot will then be up for a reservation. And those will be very obviously limited and very come as they go. First come, first serve. So keep that in mind. So there are ways that if you can't, if you don't win that lottery, there is a chance that you can still get in. Now for the rest of the panels that day that are going to be in the celebration uh, stage. So for example, panels like the Vader uh, Immortal, I think that's what it's called. Uh, the... Uh, panel for the video game Falling Order, the Clone Wars uh, Season 7, those are going to be, for those who are already in the panel for the first one of the day, they have the option to stay in their seats or like move around but stay in that room, which will then allow them to be, conf they will be able to like be in that room for those next panels. For those that leave though, what will happen is there will be queues that will then allow you to potentially get in depending on how much space is left in. And so that's something to keep in mind that if you really want to get into, for example, the Clone Wars panel, maybe you want to try to win the lottery for the Mandalorian and then just camp out. So there are some options there. And then of course, something that's important that if you are a VIP and you have that Grand Master Jedi Pass, that will allow you to go to any of the celebration stage panels. You, have reserved seating you just have to get there at a specific time there are details and all information there so you're not allowed to enter the lottery because you basically already have won the lottery you already have your spot confirmed and so those are the big main things some dates to remember is that next thursday at the 28th is when the lottery will open they will then uh give you a couple days it does not matter when you put your name in the hat for whenever you want to uh for whenever you go to do that, you will then, I think a day after that it closes, they will announce the people. You will have like 24, 48 hours, a couple of days to decide whether you want to go to that or not. And then after that, they will then open it up to the reservations uh, so that they can fill it to the One other thing to keep in mind is that whenever you are going to do your lottery and the reservations, you're gonna use the account that you create with your the code on your badge. And so whether you have your badge or not, you're gonna be able to still do this. You use the confirmation code associated with your email. So for you international fans, or for some reason, some issues with the passes getting to you guys, you will not be gypped out on this at all. So keep that in mind. I mentioned is that there is gonna be no queuing at all for the first celebration panels of the morning. So those big headline ones, those first ones of the day, there is no queuing at all you either get in through the vip badge you get in through the lottery or the reservation which is going to be very limited and very first come first serve and so and then once that's all said and done uh you will then find out what your schedule will look like another thing to keep in mind in another trick that i had thought of is that if you are really wanting to get into the like an episode nine panel or one of the headline panels put your ha put your uh, hat into into put your name in the hat for the different streaming ones also because even if you don't get into the big main room still being in a room where it's being streamed is going to be something exciting something part of and so while some of these rooms are going to be streamed too to the galaxy stage and the uh twin sun stage so 
you have a chance to say you might win the lottery for the Twin Sun stage and you might win for the Celebration stage. Well, then you just simply decline the Twin Sun stage one and accept the Celebration one. But like if you only got the Twin Sun, then at least you'll get into that room. And so those are some things to keep in mind. I think that this is going to be a really good system. I think it's a fair system. Um, I know there's some questions still that I might not have covered. Um, if you want to message me on Twitter, JG underscore cars, I'll try to help. I'm no way near official. I'm just a fan that is trying to help other fans enjoy this experience. And so again, we are only 19 days away from this event. It's going to be a blast. This allows us to have so much more fun. For example, I'm so excited to be able to go to the 500 first bash and not have to worry about queuing up for the episode 9 panel. I know ahead that I'm going to go to the 500 first bash and I'm going to know ahead of time if I'm going to be in that episode 9 panel or whether I'm not. And it's going to be okay. And like, we're going to go with it and we're going to have fun. And so that is that. And may the force be with you.